Hello there, it's Anna Sika here with you today and I have, well, the beautiful Cottage Life collection and I decided to only use the patterns and solids for this make. These papers are absolutely beautiful and I do love those subtle patterns to it. And now you get the solids and patterns in sheets, I love that. And as you see, you've got loads of beautiful blues, you've got pinks and greens. And I'm focusing on the blues and pinks in my bank. And I'm going to make a envelope card. Now I start by cutting off that little trim so the paper is exactly 12 by 12. And then I take my scoreboard and I score that 12 by 12 sheet six inches, so right in the middle. And I'm scoring at six inches, and then I turn the paper and score at six inches again. And that's it for the scoring part. Then I fold these on the score lines, and I use a bone folder because I do like a nice crisp line. And now that I've done that, I am taking that paper and finding the middle. And then I'm folding this one back so it creates a triangle. And I do the same thing on all four corners. So initially we are creating a square of sorts. And just make sure that you fold nicely and making sure that you're not being too quick about it because that way you can damage the paper and I've done that so easy going so now you have a square so I take that and fold it over and then I fold that again like a sandwich so you create a rectangle really and I fold this and just make sure here that you Fundle the paper so that it's not fighting you, that it's working with you. And again, I'm using a bone folder to make those score lines even crispier. Or crisper, sorry. And there you have an envelope of sort. And again, just folding that. And then you have that flap. Now, I only need one flap, so I just need to figure out which one looks prettier. They both look pretty, so. And then I just mark the one that I'm going to cut with an X. And then I just get my trimmer. And I cut at that score line, so that I'm basically cutting one of the flips off the uh, well, square envelope thingy. So I have an extra piece of die cut. And now before I do anything else, using adhesive and all that stuff, I am going to be inking the edges of this or envelope really. Of course you don't have to ink the edges if you don't want to. I just like it. It gives a beautiful vintagey kind of a feel and it just looks pretty in my opinion. And since I have a nice collection of all kinds of inks, I might as well put them to use. So everywhere that I have like a frame or edges, I ink. And like I said, this is totally optional. If you don't like the ink look, just skip this step completely. Now that the inking is all done, I need to pick my double-sided adhesive and get to work on the uh, envelope making. Now, this one's ready. Now, I need to make sure that one thing one flap is the opening one and one flap is closed. So make sure you pick the one to add adhesive on where you are going to have the close or the back of the uh, envelope really. And just use strong double sided adhesive. I have tried this with a liquid adhesive. It did not work for me, but of course it works for you. Go for it. I like a strong double sided adhesive. And I'm just scoring that a wee bit with my bone folder and then taking off the backing 
and all I have to do is flip this over and then I have a pocket on the front but closed on the back and I do the same thing with the other flap as well. Now those are done I need to stick these all the backs together. Just put loads of double-sided adhesive on the back you need a strong one for this really it has to hold and just make sure that it has all the edges and then you just flip it over and push and burnish that is a really good thing to do make sure that everything is stuck together and then you have an envelope a very sturdy one now that the envelope itself is basically ready you made it now it needs a bit of decorating and i'm using the uh new absolutely beautiful glitter washes oh i absolutely love these the sparkliness is amazing love it and i'm just sticking that to the edge of the flap and creating like a a glittered edge really and i'm just cutting where that is uh, going above or beyond the envelope you can do this afterwards but i just like to do it before and then i just fold that so it covers on both sides and i use a bone folder to burnish to make sure that everything is stuck together and again i just cut the ones that are standing out and i do the same thing with the other side as well these glitter washes are so pretty oh absolutely beautiful i think it's my new favorite well new favorite of the day i guess <laughs> and like i said just cutting off the uh, excess part and if you think it looks a bit wonky or you don't have wide enough uh, on the flap just lift it up carefully and just do it all over again and again burnish just to make sure that it doesn't go flying off that wouldn't be pretty and now i have the envelope with glittery parts love that now for even further more decorating i am going to use the one of the ribbons and this is basically to close the envelope itself so you just put double sided adhesive in the middle from the bottom to the top and just make sure that the uh, adhesive strip is not wider than the ribbon you're using and i'm just figuring out where the uh, center of the ribbon is so i can make sure that i have this about ish in the middle i'm not too stressed and i just place it there and when i am happy with its placement i'll push in order to make sure or burnish that it's all sticking together so now you have the closure of the envelope itself now i may want to open a bit while you are decorating so i like to use a little clip to keep it shut and will make the uh, decorating part a bit easier i'm using the stamp to decorate the envelope a wee bit and I used the uh, flower stamp for two of my envelope cards and I decided to use that little smaller one for this blue one. These stamps are oh so pretty and they stamp oh so crisp, beautiful looking. So now I'm adding the embellishments and this is one of the uh, ephemera packs or one of the pre-die cut images and then I die cut a few envelopes from another pattern paper. And now I'm just having a look at what flower works best with the uh, envelope and I'm just using again a strong double sided adhesive to place it on there and make sure that it does not move at all. And then I put some foam adhesive on the back just to make it a bit more, I don't know, I guess substantial, I guess. And then I just need to figure out where I want those pretty little butterflies to sit. 
and I ink the edges of those little butterflies using the same ink as I used on the envelope envelope's edges. It just makes them a wee bit more defined, even though they are very subtle on this uh, blue and white background. And just to make them a bit more dimensional, I'm using a bit of foam adhesive as well as the liquid adhesive. I'm just going by how I feel when I'm decorating. I'm not overthinking it in any way, shape or form. Just having fun. And then just to make sure that everything is stuck down there, nothing is falling off. And you can always tuck your ribbon underneath while you're working and it helps keeping the uh, flap uh, shut while you decorate. And now I know I wanted something else as well. So I took one of the uh, large butterflies from the ephemera pack and inked the ed edges of that as well and just used a pencil just to make it a bit more dimensional. And again used liquid adhesive to stick it down to the uh, image, just trying to figure out where, where it would look the best. And then I just stick it down and of course it needs a wee bit more, doesn't it? And that's why I grab my trusty pearls. Oh, love these. I'm having a hard time creating anything without using these. I've gone through three sheets in the last, I don't know, nine months or so. Well, this is the third one actually. And I just, I love them. They're just the perfect touch to any creation. Love these. And I'm placing these here and there just to what it feels and looks nice. And that is the decorating part done, really. And then all I have to do is tie that ribbon. Now, in order to write your message, you need to cut down a piece to put on the inside. Now, I cut a white piece of paper and it is a four by eight inches. And then I rounded the edges and stamped an image in the corner. And that is your perfect greeting spot. And this envelope is actually a very great idea if you are giving anyone a gift card or actually cash. It looks pretty, but you don't see anything at the front. And it's just, yes, a great way to make a card or envelope that is actually a card. And here you see just a regular white note card inside. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.